You know, I wasn't even going to speak on these topics. My people, shout out my brother, Versatile. He told me, what are you trying to get shadow by? He's right. I promised. I promised myself I was going to avoid these topics. But I want to do it once and for all, you know? You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. The red pill is. Uh, uh, I came across this video from Sneeko, okay? And what I think about Sneeko is I am not a male feminist. I'm not that. But at the same time, here's what I don't like about red pill. Here's why me, everything I'm saying is my opinion. Why me, I'm not a, uh, a red pill. Now, I came across this video from Sneeko on Fresh and Fit with Didion. And he was basically saying like, um, high value male, like the woman don't gotta do much to earn him, but the male, yeah, the, the male gotta go hard and, and work hard and become high value, right? To get the woman, but they don't gotta do much. And then, you know, he was, Gideon was sitting over there, he's like, well, yeah, the woman gotta earn a man too. And then they asked the woman, she said, uh, uh, like, oh my God, he took the red pill. Listen, why are you guys acting like, like you're surprised? Like this is new information that you, we didn't know before. I grew up in, in Saudi Arabia before it became free with the new king and, and all that. If you don't know, do your own research. But the fact that man gotta become to earn a woman, here's my problem with, with the red pill, right? At, at, at its core, these ideas are correct. But it's nothing new to me. To me. I've been known this. Uh, men been known this. If you didn't have red pill, you would have realized through life. But here's the issue. A lot of y'all that might have not known this, or maybe known this, but kind of felt passive aggressive about it. See, I don't like that. Neither do women. You nice guys, right? As you guys call them. I hate that I'm using your lingo. <sighs> it's not new, but you develop a nihilistic approach. The way you guys talk about man, like, man gotta get rich. Man gotta hit the team. Man gotta go through up and down. You gotta be Drake. No, you don't. It's a lot of broke, and <laughs> a lot of broke men out here. Some of the finest females. But the issue with the red pill is so nihilistic. Like we all know this that that you gotta go. This has been the way life is since man and woman started. <laughs> That's why, you know, it's always been like that. But you, I don't know if you just woke up, you used to be sleepwalking. A lot of y'all was sleepwalking. 
right? I look look at me. This Bitcoin on my head, right? I when I do, I'm just using this as an example. When I joined or bought Bitcoin or hodled and all that, I did it for ideological reasons. It was never about money for me. It was about the concept. What I've realized is pandemic forced a lot of you to sit at home and look in the mirror. This is when this is when a lot of red pill nonsense came out because you used to be sleepwalking. And suddenly you woke up. Now you've realized that you gotta be high value to get the really, bro? The real red pill was, was the rappers telling you that for years. She wanted rich and come on, bro. Let's not play stupid. You woke up in the pandemic like, oh, what year is it? Oh, no. I'm not a high value bill. Oh, no. Bitcoin is going crazy. I should have bought. Now no, you're all about crypto. Relax. And you clown to me for being like, how would you get it on your head? <laughs> you idiot. Just join the stuff. You just woke up during the pandemic. You got no right to talk to me. I've been awake since I was 14 years old for ideological reasons. Dummy. Are you jealous because I got made money off it and you didn't? I've been in it early. I, be I believed in it. When people used to clown me for believing in it. So you got no right to tell me this or that before I disrespect you. Relax. If you're in the Red Bill community, get out. And grow up. Because the Red Pill is a gateway to other. Like what the hell is a MGTOW? Men going their own way. I watched some of the lectures. Like, what's his name? Life is simple or watch while you sleep something. He makes good points. But it's not news. We bend on all of this. Some of it we can't say, okay, we're going to get crucified. Like, Tate, sure. But we all know it. It's like the streets. I know buddy over there, it's, it's got the bricks, got the, this guy got the green. I know who would hit him up, but I'm not gonna go yelling. So yeah, guys, this one. we all know it. It's, no, it's nothing new. Here's why you should get out if you're in it. And they try to say academics is red pill. He's not. Look at how the red pill people or leaders or figureheads Nine times out of 10, they got something to gain, a course to sell you. That's the real red pill. <laughs> Sheep and wolves and which one are you, my brother? You don't gotta be a sh uh, praying on a sheep, but yeah, if you're on a, just wake up to it. Why is a man sitting here telling you, <laughs> Women, men, women, men. A lot of y'all just woke up, bro. You need to just slap. And then they come hit on me, huh? That's what jealousy does and envy. Get that out your heart. Because one thing about it, I've been awake for years. <laughs> woke. Woke. More like broke. Oh, the... A lot of y'all just woke up to politics. All of a sudden, it's far left, far right. I don't believe in politics. Listen, this is my opinion. I'm not spreading misinformation. My opinion is, if you thought who, who's at the top can help your life out, you still sleep, all right? You've lost a long time ago. Might as well go back to bed and cuddle with, with Sleepy Joe. 
<laughs> Good rules, man. Stop, stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to me. Stop. You can lie to me, but don't lie to yourself. I've been known. Like Sneeko, the, the la la la. Like Sneeko, what is wrong with you, bro? He's younger than me. And here's my here's the final message I'm gonna leave you on. You wanna know why people getting canceled so much? I'm not defending the stuff they get canceled for in no way, shape, or form. But you getting people canceled for 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 the stuff that you probably did in your life. It tells me that you believe that you are lower than in a hierarchy. Since y'all like hierarchies, right, Bill, huh? <laughs> you believe you are lower than. Because you believe you are lower than your favorite celebrity, politician, musician, you put them in a category which is almost above human, almost godlike, in a sense that they don't make no mistakes. That's why a celebrity can, like Joe Rogan said the N-word, as long as his heart is not inherently racist, I don't care, because it's not my first time. Come on, bro. I'm a black man in this world. You know how many times I've been caught the heart R in bad context? So, you stop holding these celebrities to a or Politician, whoever. You think they're going to save you like Jesus. Stop holding them to a standard above human because just like you make mistakes, they make mistakes. Just like you're human, they're human. When you do that to them, you dehumanize them. That's why some of my haters feel so comfortable wishing my life to be taken in my DMs because they're down bad. You wouldn't wish that to a normal, on your level human, because you feel like that's a human, you feel too bad. But you're a celebrity, I can hate on him. I just gave you the real rep, Bill. Now, get out that community, because you're going to keep, if you keep telling yourself that nonsense, go outside. The internet is not the real world. Man, I know some guys that are so ugly, fat, but they got the baddest B. They got the finest girlfriend. I'm like, how? And no, some of them, most of them are broke or average. So you got hope. Fix your mind first. All right. Fix up. If you keep getting involved in these red pill communities, even if you're not buying courses, you just around and around. The algorithm will start you off with soft and then put the Vaseline in it. Oh, the next thing you know, you're a mukhtao. You know what mukhtao means? Men going their own way. Really, bro? So what, your right hand? What, 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 what? Men going their own way? I'm going my own way away from you because... As much as I agree with some of the, most of the stuff you say, how are you ever going to get a woman to talk about Mukhtao? If you don't get out of my face, boy. Sneeko's not a bad human. He's younger, like I said. Younger than me. But he's growing up in front of our faces. Because he's famous. His words are powerful. So yes, he might be. Now I get why they say he spread it. And I like the dude. But I'm coming around now to realize. And yeah, the red pill, bro. Like Everybody in there is trying to sell you a course. And if you end up going too deep, you're going to end up like that dude. I can't say his name on here. The, the guy who went and did the spree, boom, boom, boom. Made a video. Boy, look. And you know, the sad part is, pause. He's a handsome dude. Hey, I seen his face. He looked like me when I was younger. But he got burnt out 
in the head because he got looped in that loop mentality of Red Bill leading to McTow. Leading, next thing you know, he is sell with an in before it. Get out of there while you can. Surround yourself with real end friends. Okay. Find you a hobby, a hustle. I don't care what it is. I don't judge. A man needs purpose in his life. If he don't find his purpose, if he feels purposeless, aimless, red pill people come take advantage. Now he's paying for courses. Or it could end up being like Elliot. Or even worse, I grew up in Arabia. When people are in that aimless, lost space, they become victims to people like terrorists. I got a sensor 15. People like terrorists with a T before it. They come take advantage of them in the lost period of their life. So find a good purpose. I don't care if you paint on, 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 on tires. Find something you love, bruh. Red pill, red pill. Sneeko is going to grow up just like he did before our eyes. Eh. One day he's going to come back and take some of the stuff back, he said. Because at one point in my life, I thought like Sneeko did. But life changes, people change, people grow up. I am not a male feminist. Like that one dude with the curly hair and snits. I don't like him. And don't let this hat fool you. This is not a fedora. This is a somebody I bought it from. Anyway, he didn't sponsor me, so I'm not shouting out. But, yeah. It is what it is, bro. I'm just here to slap you in the face as a brother and be like, snap out of it. This is the real world. Don't get sucked in in that wormhole. Get out. Like the movie Get Out, <laughs> literally. Because what's the end goal? You're going to be a red pill figurehead and make money off. I guess if you want to be that, be that, but at least be honest with your people. Because realize this is a danger. It starts off, you might lead them wrong. It could start off with Tate. Shout out to Tate. I like Tate. But again, they get lost in the sauce. Next thing you know, they end up like Elliot. That's where the danger lies. So I really wasn't going to talk about this topic, but I just want to let you know why I'm not a red pill, even though I share uh, a lot of uh, values or ideals or whatever. But I don't pop no pills, no red, no blue, nothing. I don't even like the Matrix, and I'm into hacking and stuff. I think the Matrix was goofy. People say the Matrix was about today. Black Mirror is about today, Matrix is. It's outdated. And hacking was unrealistic. I can't wait to get rich so I can make some real nice hacker movies. And the documentaries come and subscribe, hit like, share. Don't be crabbing, huh? Mr. Red Pill. Before I put that red pill somewhere, you know it very well. I want all the smoke. Holla. I'm tired. I've been working all day, man. Hit like, smash, share. Uh, hit like, smash, subscribe. Click share. I'll see you later, my friend. So this, 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 they think I'm a, that's that dude. I forget, but he, it's a meme. These white folks, it's a fat dude. He's like, my lady. Reddit user. My lady. Oh, the.
Don't get sucked in. All right. I love you. I care for you. The world is not going to be like this pandemic state forever. It's just a rough economy. It will pass. People got over the plague without technology. Hundreds and thousands of years ago, the Black Plague. And that was horrible. But the world recovered in under six months. So don't let the media, whose business is to make you click with fear, have you living in this world in your head, which is all fear, fear, fear. No, the world is good. They're still good out there. I have no course to sell you. I'm just letting you know how I feel. Yeah, all right. Brother, bro, if you down, I got videos coming to help you mentally from a real end. From a dude who didn't believe in mental health, really, till recently. Again, my lady, gentlemen, I will see you in the next one, okay? If I make sure you click the like button and that you get me, man's waiting on some food, food to land from Ireland and that, you get me? Listen, I'm done. Tomorrow. New documentary, new song, all that. And Sleeko, everybody I mentioned was examples. I have no hate. But again, we're all humans. We make mistakes. These guys will change their mind. You think Sneeko going to be a grandpa talking about women, men, men? He's 23, 22. He's a dude who's, who turned 20, 21, I believe, in a pandemic. If I turned 21 in the pandemic, I would have sounded like that. But a lot of y'all will realize, okay, Gen Z, you are our last hope. So hold on to yourself tight. Don't lose your freedom. We need you. Love you. Peace. Take care. Leave a comment.